I'm Chris Oliver, the Executive Director of the North Pacific Fishery Management Council. We just wrapped up another week-long council meeting here in Seattle, and uh, one of the big issues on our agenda was one of the issues that's been a big issue on our agenda for a number of meetings now, and, and that's halibut. Halibut has been a big issue on the council's agenda. Uh, it often is a big issue on the agenda. We've been dealing with allocation issues with halibut between sport and commercial users. We uh, are now looking closely at some bycatch issues with regard to halibut. The uh, commercial yield for halibut has been in a steady decline for about 10 years, uh, on the order of 50% over the last 10 years. And as that commercial yield decreases and things like halibut bycatch uh, don't decrease, uh, people start to look and the council's interested in looking at ways to reduce halibut bycatch. The halibut resource itself is a subject of intense interest uh, from a lot of players right now, including the directed fishery, uh, bycatch users, because of the declining yield. The actual biomass of halibut has been relatively stable, but there's a lot of very small fish, small male fish in the population, and um, there are a lot of questions about how that uh, slow growth and uh, the lower size at age that we've seen from previous decades factors into the overall stock assessment and also how that slow growth and the migration of halibut affect halibut bycatch and the impacts of halibut bycatch on the stocks. So the council has uh, looking at a potential reduction in our halibut bycatch limits in the Gulf of Alaska. Those have been set for many years at 2,000 tons for the trawl fisheries and 300 tons for the longline fishery, for example. And the council is considering a 5, 10, or 15 percent reduction in, the, in those halibut bycatch limits for the, for the trawl and longline fisheries. Um, you're looking at a, a very uh, contentious issue in many ways because the ground fish fisheries are already constrained by halibut bycatch and reducing that amount of halibut bycatch could have an economic impact, a, a additional foregone harvest on the uh, ground fish side of the fishery at an extreme example of 15 percent reduction. You could be looking at up to a $10 million uh, loss in ground fish revenue. On the other hand, that kind of reduction results in an immediate gain on the commercial side of the fishery to the extent those fish now become a uh, viable catch in the commercial fishery of two to three million dollars. So there are allocation issues here that uh, are implied by the council's potential actions and there's also the, the overriding conservation concern on the halibut resource that we're hoping to also address in these kind of actions.